That's a really cool name for a city. Iron Wrath. Did he not go find his sister? Oh god. It's Garrett! Oh, they know me! Oh. Get the Castellan! Tell him his nephew survived! Oh, cause yeah, I forgot about the My uncle's here. Garrett! Uncle! I was too late. They were already dead. Bring the maester! Meet us in the Great Hall! Quickly! Two White Hill soldiers? And a Bolton. They killed my family. And for what? Wait, what about his sister? My sister, she... Oh, okay. She was only eight years old. Wait, but they killed her? How this do we know that? This never have happened with the Starks in power. It's unimaginable. Unacceptable. You have my condolences. Thank you, Mister. Hmm, the blade cut deep, but I should be able to save your leg. Oh, that's good. Your justice was swift. Some will call it vengeance. No doubt the White Hills will claim it was murder. It was your family. I can't say I would have done any different than you. They attacked me. I had no choice but to defend myself. Of course. And we can't let the White Hills just walk all over us. These maggots ought to help prevent infection. Hold the wound open for me, would you? Oh, good. <laughs> oh, God, that's gross looking. Uh... Uh, oh god, okay, all right, all right. That's really disgusting. No! Oh god, why? Oh, oh why? Oh, they're like getting closed up inside of it. Oh god, I accidentally closed it. Oh god. Oh. oh. To lose the lord of the house and the eldest oh. son through such a despicable act of treachery and betrayal. Greater houses than ours have fallen in times such as this. The late Lord Forrester was a good man. And poor Roderick. A serious man, but he would have made a good lord. Well, what do we do now? The future of this house is in Lord Ethan's hands now. Although he is young and altogether unprepared to lead. Oh, good. <laughs> right. Uh, this might hurt a bit. Hold this for me, will you? Oh, okay. Uh... I understand from your uncle that Lord Forrester saved your life. He did. Rather odd, though, that he chose to save you, his squire, and not his son, Roderick. Not that Roderick couldn't handle himself. He was as good with a sword as any man I've seen. He gave me a message to deliver. A message? About what? What did he tell you? Get my uncle. I was told only to tell him. Your uncle? I see. Must be rather important, then. Lady Forrester will be here any moment now. I'd like you to walk for me first, to see if you can put any weight on that leg. Well, you just put bugs in it, so... Oh, good. Go on. So Don't nice. stop now. It's better to let the blood circulate. Can you, like, feel those maggots, like, in your leg if that happens? Oh, <laughs> that sounds so gross. <laughs> All right, ooh, nope, just maggots squirming around in your leg while you're moving around. Oh. Okay, I can't think about it. I don't know, look at the window. The Ironwood Grove. Okay, great. Can I go this way? No, okay. Is that it? Tapestry? No, are we good? Um. Did your leg feel weak? No. I just wanted to ask you. Who is the new lord of House Forrester? Why, Ethan, of course. A 
at the Citadel, I swore an oath to serve whichever noble house I was assigned. Advising the late Lord Forrester was an honor. Advising Ethan, his third-born son, is challenging. His third-born son? still so much he has to learn. Oh, Roger. The very fate and future of this house rests in his hands. Which is rather frightening when you think about it. <laughs> uh. What will happen to me now? Excellent question. Hmm. Under normal circumstances, you could join Sir Roiland and his men. Although, given the circumstances of your... circumstances, it <laughs> becomes a bit tricky, doesn't it? I suppose it will be for Lord Ethan to decide. Lord Forrester promoted me. At the Twins, I... I'm no longer a squire, if that matters. It might, I suppose. But I'll defer to Lord Ethan on this. It's not like I have any way to prove it. Can I see Ethan? Is he here? He is. But I'm afraid he's indisposed at the moment. He prefers not to be disturbed while practicing his loot. <laughs> Can I go now? I believe your leg will be fine. Any time you tell, but... He's practicing his Lady loot? Forrester. Welcome home, Garrett. We're all relieved to know you survived. Thank you, my lady. Talia asked to see you. Garrett, I heard what happened. Is it true? Your family... How come I'm just assuming that my sister's dead? Because, like, we didn't... He said that she hid. I'm so sorry. Mato. Off to bed now. Hurry on. Garrett was just telling me how valiantly Lord Forrester fought to the end, even when all was lost. I'm sure Lady Forrester would like to know. He saved my life, my lady. Yet not Roderick's. You were with Roderick, no? I'm sure it was chaos and confusion. But if you can remember anything, I'm sure Lady Forrester would like to know. He... He fought valiantly, my lady. Of course he did. He was House Forrester's best. This has been so incredibly difficult for us, especially the children. But I was told... I was told you were the last to see my husband alive. Yes, my lady. I know it may be difficult to remember, but if I may ask, was there anything he said? Any last words before he passed? If you can remember. He asked me to return this to House Forrester. He said this is where it belongs. With his family. I don't avoid her question. Thank you, Garrett. Of course, <laughs> my lady. What? It demands a response. Oh god. It's too dangerous, especially now. Now is the time to prove our strength. I'll be sure it's given to Ethan. Duncan, this was our land. They were our people. Your family. I share your outrage, Sir Royland. I do. But now is not the time to provoke the White Hills. Not with Ramsay Snow coming to see us bend the knee. The hell with Ramsay Snow, the bastard. <laughs> Garrett, you understand what this means. You killed a Bolton, and Ramsay Snow will want his retribution. We're the ones that should be demanding retribution. This happened on Forrester land. They killed my family. And they'll pay for what they've done. That much, I promise. But now is not the time for vengeance. If not now, when? We have to be smart. Ramsay Snow will be here within the week. And what would you have us do? Nothing. I would have us use our heads while they're still attached to our shoulders. Hmm. Garrett has lost as much as anyone else within these walls. Maybe you can talk some sense into your uncle. Garrett's suffered enough already. You asked too much of the boy. My uncle's right. We need to be smart. Smart. Eddard Stark was smart. And look where that got him. So, what's to be done? Rude. <sighs> Ultimately, it will be for Lord Ethan to decide. He's just a boy who can barely hold a sword. He knows nothing of how to lead men. He is the Lord yeah. of his house. He's still the and Lord. And he needs our help. It's bad enough the Boltons would have us bend the knee and swear fealty. But now, this. But I'll accuse you of murder and us of protecting you. The boy was just defending himself. Yeah. I'm not faulting him for what he did. It wasn't murder. It was justice. Not in their eyes. 
It's just the excuse Ramsay Snow would need to put us to the torch and kill us all. I'd like to see them try. I'm afraid it's a risk we cannot take, which is why you cannot stay. Oh, good. Cannot stay? Duncan? But where would I go? The one place beyond the reach of even House Bolton. You're sending him to the wall. Oh, good. The boy's done nothing wrong. Not in the eyes of the Boltons. I'm afraid it's the only solution. Uncle, you can't send me to the wall. I'm not a criminal. There'd be nothing we could do to protect you. To stay would bring destruction upon us all. I know that's not <sighs> what you want. I know it's difficult to understand. But you must think of the house. I won't put others at risk. I'll go. I know it doesn't seem fair, but it is what's best. Great. Great. <laughs> really glad I decided with my or sided with my that uncle on that one. <laughs> Jerk. You can have my horse. And Great, I'll see thanks. you have plenty of food. Awesome. But we haven't much time. The White Hills will come looking for you. Send you to the wall, but you can have my horse and some Cheez Its. Thanks, dude. Really good uncle. I didn't give him the message. Maybe I will now. Word up to me. I'd gladly drive a sword through Lord Whitehill's heart if given a chance. I would. And God's willing, someday I will. But for now, I have House Forrester to consider first. I know you're not a criminal, but Lord Forrester would be proud that you're putting the interests of the house ahead of your own. Many of Lord Forrester's best men have volunteered for the war. His own great uncle was a ranger with the Night's Watch. I'll do what's best. Which often isn't what's easiest, but necessary nonetheless. I've been waiting for the right moment to tell you. What? Lord Forrester asked me to give you a message. He said... The North Grove can never be lost. Sorry. You caught me by surprise. It's not often discussed. If ever. He said tell only you. For good reason. Most don't even know it exists. They think it's just a myth made up by wildlings and fools. And it's better kept that way. I assume you kept your word. Yeah, dude. You haven't told anyone else, have you? Nope. This is important, Garrett. Of course not. I told no one. Well done. Lord Forrester was right to put his trust in you. From this day forward, this will be our secret. But soon, I may need your help. But I can't say anything more just yet. Just know the North Grove may very well be vital to the future of this house. But don't breathe a word of it to anyone at the wall. Become a ranger if you can. It will help. Do we get to meet Jon Snow? <clears throat> or wait, was he still at the wall at this point in time? I don't think he was. Iron from ice. Iron from ice. Remember, you represent House Forrester. Your actions at the wall will reflect the honor and dignity of the house. I'll serve with honor. I know you will. I think 20 minutes in, I'm getting sent to the wall. Great. Garrett, wait! Hello. Oh. Um, click. Be safe. That was sweet. Thanks, Talia. She's not like related to Ra's al Ghul, is she? <laughs> Ugh. Okay, well. Off to the wall, I guess. Great.
Oh god, he's just like a little kid. I couldn't find him. Could you? He hides too well. And if he were smart, he would reveal himself. I don't like this game anymore. Maybe something happened to him. Ethan's fine. He's just forgotten this is a game. You found me! Well done, Ryan. <laughs> don't oh, worry. Cute. It's just a game, Ryan. A stupid game. I don't like it. Hmm. He was worried you were gone. I thought we'd never find you again. I'm right here. And I promise, I'm not going anywhere. I wish Mira was here. And Asha. And... And Roderick. I do too. But Mira's in King's Landing and... Can't she come home? I don't want her to die too. Ryan, she's perfectly safe, I promise you. I don't want Gerd to die either. Maester Ortengrin said he got sent to the wall. I'll miss Gerard. He was nice. He'll be fine. Garrett is smart. No one will tell me what Garrett did, but it must have been serious. I heard Duncan and Sir Royland talking. They said someone will come here looking for revenge. Everyone's worried about you, but I'm not. I know you'll protect us. Who said they're worried about me? Mm. Well, Sir Royland for one. He says you can't fight very well. What? <laughs> and he calls you a milksop. Sir Royland forgets himself. I don't care what he says. I can protect you. What does milksop mean? I don't know. But I know it's not good. <laughs> Ethan, you should let Sir Royland teach you how to wield a sword. Like... like a man. He taught Roderick and Asher, and he even showed me how to fight. Properly, I mean. A lord should know how to fight. Yeah. This is interesting. Do you when we were younger? We're like switching characters. We used to play here. You, me, Roderick, Asha. We'd all be out here for hours. Yeah. Where was I? You weren't born yet. We had so much fun. But then, well, then everything changed. Roderick became so serious. The Lord in training. We never smiled anymore. And Asha, Asha just got angry at everything. Promise me you won't be like that. Please, just be you. I like you the way you are. I know a lord has many responsibilities, but you don't need to be like them. I may have to change. I'd rather have my brother than a lord. You'll have to have both, I'm afraid. Yeah, I mean... He's gotta learn how to be a lord. He can't but just be like, I'm your brother. you're the new lord, <laughs> you can do anything you want. I suppose. Everyone will have to do as you say. So, I could have all the sweets <laughs> I want. If I knew it with that simple. Uh, it would be nice if someone did what I wanted for once. As many as you'd like, yes. <laughs> really? Don't frown at me, course. Talia. Why not? <laughs> She's so judgmental. Oh, You're needed in the great hall at once. Quickly, on your feet. What? Don't talk to me like that. <laughs> What's the matter? Lord Whitehill has arrived, unannounced and certainly unexpected. He's come demanding justice. Oh, good. Can't he meet with Duncan? He is the Castellan. Oh, I'm Stay more. with us. Please, Ethan. No, I gotta He's take care of this. demanding an audience with the Lord. We really must go. It's yeah, your dude. decision. You are the Lord. Fine. If that's what's required of me. Very well, then. He sounds so reluctant. They showed up unannounced. Lord Whitehill is in a lather. I assume you explained to Lord Ethan why they're here? Your business with Garrett. I told him. Lord Whitehill knows Garrett is a squire to this house. Or was, I suppose. Is. Was. It makes no difference. The Whitehills were clearly in the wrong, so don't give him any satisfaction. Hmm. Out there, you were decisive and firm. 
Now do it again with these bastards. Let's not do something rash. Things are bad enough as it is. I can handle Lord Whitehill. Well said, my lord. <laughs> now is not the time to anger Lord Whitehill any oh more God. than he already it's is. It's like good angel, He's bad angel thing. He's got times as many men, and the Stop backing it. of House Bolton. All the more reason oh to God. stand up for yes. ourselves. Only cowards and dead men roll over. Oh, he's a chubby one. Oh, <laughs> he's chubby. <laughs> Lord Ethan, is it? My condolences for your father and brother. The late Lord Forrester was no friend to me or my house. Thank you, Lord Whitehill. <laughs> no. Uh... My only regret is I wasn't there to drive the dagger into his heart myself. I've been well, waiting then. for this day all my life. The foresters finally get their due. How dare you! I dare! And I'll uh, do as I damn well please! How dare you! And no bread and salt! What kind of fucking house receives a lord with no fucking bread and salt? You bloody amateur! Wow. No courtesies. I should have expected as much. Bloody foresters. I don't know. I don't know what to say to Calm this guy. Calm yourself, old man. You little fuck! <laughs> That's how you talk to a lord! You foresters have shit on us for generations. Well, now the stars feel like I'm doing no this wrong. <laughs> around to have your back, are they? We're the power in the north now. Mm -hmm. Roose Bolton is the warden of the north. Aye. And we've been his bannermen for five fucking centuries. You cunt. Wow, this guy is just... Lord Ethan, you're losing control of this. Lord Whitehill, please. I'm not finished. Well, Maybe you stop talking. So fucking greedy with the iron wood, things would have been different between us. You squandered your share. Our share was taken from us. We had no fucking choice but to harvest what was left. What is it you want, Lord Whitehill? Oh god, this stupid smarmy guy. Your man, the squire. We were minding our own business. Keeping the king's peace, as his lordship here said, when your man attacked us for no reason. Hear that? Attacked for no reason. No reason? You murdered his family. Then you admit it was your man who killed my men. And a pig farmer in Oh my that. god. How do you answer for your squire, Lord Ethan? He acted in your name. And you are the lord of this house. Your men attacked and drew first blood. They murdered his entire family. You lost pig farmers, not soldiers. The soldiers worth a hundred of their type. Where's the fucking coward who killed my men? I know he's here. What have you done with him? I took care of it. He received his punishment and it's done. He's gone. What? <laughs> gone? That was my justice to deliver, boy, and you denied me of it. <laughs> I'm not leaving. Until I have my justice. Oh God! Now bring me the coward who did it, or you'll answer to Roose Bolton. He's not here. What kind of fucking house is this? A house of honourable men. Lady Forrester. You bellow like a wounded boar, Lord Whitehill. Have you forgotten your manners? <laughs> I mean no disrespect to you, my lady, considering your losses and all, but this. This is not over. It's over when my son says it is. Thank you for coming, Lord Whitehill. Ethan is Lord of Ironrath now. By rights, his word is law here. If that displeases you, then I trust you can find the door. Leave it to Lady Forrester. That lad may be Lord of this house, but Lord Bolton will have the final say. I'll send him a raven letting him know a forester man killed one of his own. That the new Lord Forester lied to my face and denied me my justice. Lied to then his we'll face? see whose word is law. I didn't lie to him. Um. Do as you like, Lord Whitehill. I don't know. I feel like that whole conversation went wrong. <laughs> but I feel like also that guy probably was just gonna get mad no matter what. I was wrong about your son, my lady. 
He stood up to him like Oh good, a true yay. Lord. Oh, you I wanted brave, to be my son. But you'll need to be brave okay, still when Ramsay Snow arrives to see you bend the knee. I wanted to be like we a good, to send word to a good Mira lord. In King's Landing at once. 